Losing a baby through elective abortion. I have said many times that I only talk on topics that I have had experience on. So here I am, sharing the most difficult topic to share. There is so much resistance happening in my body right now. When I say these words, I just want to shut down and hide myself where no one can see me. But I want to brave this because I know it will help you and in turn will help me to heal. Losing a child is a loss that I could compare to losing a limb. Not a day goes by when you don't remember your lost child. My experience. I wanted to write a letter and throw it in the sea. I wanted to complete my incomplete journal, take printouts and then burn the pages. I wanted to cry and moan and grieve and lock myself up. I wanted my partner to be there for me and just be there. I wanted to see my baby. I wanted to hold my baby. I wanted to spend the last few moments with my baby. I wish I could do the last rites for my baby. Even if the above mention sounds silly as per societal standards, it does give closure. And you get to decide how you want to give your lost baby a closure. Instead, what did I do? I just hired a trainer, went all out with making a body that I had always wanted. So why am I not happy about it? Because after that started a series of mental health issues because of the suppression of my feelings and diversion towards something I shouldn't have diverted towards, not without grieving. I did not grieve and so some part of my heart is constantly grieving and I don't know which part. I'm so lost. People usually know me for my positivity and all smiles. And this required me to gather tons of courage to show my weakness and vulnerability. I was badgered for my weight gain every time I walked the red carpet. People asked me if I was pregnant and social media and so on. The lessons I have learned are the only regrets I have in life. And I want to share that with you today to help you find that lost you. See the baby if you wish to. Don't listen to anyone except your heart. Mourn and grieve and stay there until you feel. You don't need to meet everyone or take anyone's calls if you don't want to. You can always call them back later. They will understand. The loss of a child is a great loss, whether the child was an unborn, toddler or a grown-up. Don't fight it and act normal because we've been conditioned to prove to the world on how we should behave after going through a loss. There is nothing strong about not facing your grief. Don't be strong because others tell you to. You are weak and you want to stay that way. You want to process the pain and not run away from it. It's dangerous and will stay with you for life otherwise. Let the memories of the baby be there for you, not the regrets. <sighs> you must be actually wondering what am I talking about? Yes, we lost a baby. She lives in the baby heaven and I call her Angel Raval Mehra. 6th of September 2014. She was five months old and she was unborn. The worst is, we terminated the pregnancy because we were medically advised to do so. She suffered from trisomy 18, which is a chromosomal disorder. She had three holes in her heart. It's like one day we were planning her nursery and the other day I wasn't pregnant anymore. My tears are still fresh. My wound is still unhealed. My memories are still crisp and my regret it grows stronger than ever and that's why it was important for me to tell you this. Please process your pain. Don't run away from it. Take your time. Time doesn't heal if you don't participate in the healing process. Acknowledgement of your loss is your participation. Just grieve. Happy Motherhood Chronicles to you.